Okay, so here are the American Girl books I got today. I can talk about my throat and nose clogging up, but whatever. Um, I got this one. It's got um, different crafts and craft ideas in it. It, it has, um, here, let me just show you what it's got. I'm just going to show you one of them. Um, let's go with mm, Game of Graces. That is. I don't want to show you too much in here because it's like not that thick and you can get it on Amazon for a few cents. So, yeah. And so, this is the Game of Graces. So, I'm just going to show you from back here. So, it's not good enough to get too much information. It's got this little, histor I'm gonna show you little historical bit. That if you want to read it, you can pause it. Um, but yeah, there's an exact example of what all is in here. Um, I also got this one. These are the only two they had, or, or at least that I saw. That Addie's book, and she has. Where is she? Oh, and each book ha does have a little bit of historical information in it. So yeah, um, Addie has this. Um, and let me pick one. Let me see what this first one is. Oh, that's a game. Um, oh, yeah. Hey, um, we've all, I'm, I'm, I've seen this game before in uh, different contexts. Changeable pictures? give an example of what's in the Addy book. I also picked up this one, another book. Um, I have not really flipped this one yet. Um, we've got Kirsten's Prairie Party. Um, I just randomly flipped to this one, so I'm going to give you an example of this one. We have Bonnet Invitation, Hey Bell Name Cards, um, Frontier Foods, you get, you get, there are recipes that, um, I do kind of want to try these, but I'll have to modify them to be gluten free. It shouldn't be that hard, even though I don't really like to. But Frontier Fun, Jack Straws, Puss in the Corner here, I bake here, I brew. I have a basket, honey pot, fox and geese, and your different games. Like, I'm, I've heard of fox and geese, but I've never played it. I got different games. Um,. Pioneer playthings. Oh, I'm gonna make that. You can make like little calico kitties, straw horses, um, donuts, um, person's barn dance. You got, um, uh, we've got baked apple dumpling, recipe cornbread, apple cider, snap apple, which I think is a game. Um, patchwork party. Good. Like quilt cookies. Um, yeah. Just like, like, um, host of Venus, New Mexican party. Um, what Felicity has. I was a Felicity fan when I was growing up. You got like different recipes and things. And Felicity's colonial party. Um, Bunch of you know, different thingies that I really need. I'm gonna go through. I haven't, I haven't really read this yet, so I'm gonna go through it. And check out the recipes and whatnot. Yeah, that's not bad for something that was like three bucks. Oh, cool. Okay, and I got um. I guess I should just I should this. No, I didn't. Okay. Very far. I've, I've done these videos so many times today. I can't remember what I've shown you. What all I've shown you. Sorry. Also got. Okay. 
Schrader in Williamsburg. Um, Felicity was like my my favorite character of the American Girl books, or at least one of them. It was a tie, be a tie between Felicity and Samantha. This Kirsten coming in a close third because she had a kitty cat. I was like nine. It didn't take much. So I got this. Um, for those of you who are familiar with these with these type of books, they can make an entire book of just the looking back section with all the historical historical information, and I would buy that. Like sometimes I buy these books just for this little historical section because I'm that dorky. I got that one. I also got this. A Samantha mystery. Um, Curse at Ravens. Curse of Ravens Court. Sorry. Um, that historical information. Just forget the story. Just go straight for the looking back section. I don't want to read it yet though. No. It mentions ghosts. So yeah, like. Yeah. Just that. Um. Okay, I gotta show you, I've got to show you all something for those of you still watching this. Okay, I like the character of Felicity a lot, mainly because she was spunky and she had a horse. Mainly because she had a horse. Um, but the one I could actually most identify with was Samantha. Let's see, she was raised by her grandmother. I was raised by my grandparents. Parent, and, and there was this. Samantha looks like this. Or, I mean, they've got a close up in these books of them. Like this. There you go. Now, you see, those of you who read these, you know what Samantha looked like. Let me show you me around age nine. See? Again. Yeah. Um, didn't help that I kind of look like her, too. So, yeah. There's that. And I'm gonna go. Oh, and I like my top today. Like a little jackety thing. And a blue shirt. Navy blue. Well, it's not really navy blue, but yeah. Okie dokie. Bye-bye. I'm uploading these regardless of how they are. So, yeah.